Hello everyone, welcome back to Hollow Knight. In the last episode, we went through the City of Tears, found Yuri and the Watcher, which is the name of the dude, by the way. Um, I guess got his mask, and also um, got an upgrade to a fireball. Um, this episode, even though I said I was going to start it with um, a nail upgrade, I was going around doing, like, you know, trying to find money. I found this, just casually. Uh, no, 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 don't run away, don't run away, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. <sighs> Guess I'm doing this then. Oh, what the hell is happening? Oh, wait, hold on, is this a, is this a boss? Was that the boss? Oh, damn it, okay. So, um, I did not realize that, um... The boss, even though I bet I bet that's the room right there. But I did not realize that the boss for this area was going to be, like, right there. I genuinely thought, um... Huh. I like how there's, like, an actual, like... You can kind of go around it. Like, I like how you can just learn a little bit about the lay of this land. But, no. Uh, you know what? We may as well try it anyway. We're kind of here. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, yikes. Oh, yeah, wow. Um, there's like, he is real fast. But that's fine. It's okay. We're dead. Um, game. Cool. But yeah. So, I forgot. Well, not necessarily forgot, but I did not realize that. Well, I guess it still is forgetting. That this thing is what was in. Um, the armor of, if I can get all the way down, this thing. Yeah. So if I try to dream nail this, nothing happens. But if I dream nail the, the corpse up there, something does happen. Um, however, ah, oh, damn it, it's blocked off. Okay, I hate, I hate the, the layout of this area now. Because, um... Thanks to the good old infection that is happening in this area. Why am I not why am I not going up? That was weird, what the hell? Um yeah, thanks to the good old infection in this area. I cannot get out or into places the way I thought I could. And it really bothers me. Because I've been trying to get around the f fucking forgotten crossroads this whole time. Because you know, Things can, like, look, there, there's infected things now, right? They give me more money than they used to. So I've been trying to grind up on these things. Also, that one explodes. And he gives me money just from exploding, which is nice. So that's how I've been trying to get money, because, as it turns out, I did not have any money in the bank. Uh, also. Oh, okay, that's cool as hell. These things give me a whole lot of money, so I should be killing these things more. At least that one did. Yeah, this one didn't give me anywhere near as much money. What the hell? Give me more money, you slut! Um... <laughs> but yeah, I was also considering, because um, I've realized, hey, I don't have um, all the, like, charm notches yet, do I? And I need uh, two more charms to do so. There is a, um, a shop that I've just not bought anything from. Since the beginning of the game, because, um, A, when I was fast playing, they were too expensive. Actually, have we, come, have we been through here? Because this looks dark, and I don't remember ever coming through here. Oh, no, we must have. Um, but yeah. There's an area that I haven't, uh, that I haven't bought anything from, because at the start of the game, it's expensive as hell. And also now, currently at the point of the game that, we at, that we're at, um, they're kind of... Um, useful only for, like, the dream bosses. Like, I couldn't see myself using them for anything other than the dream bosses. And it's, um, the fragile charms. Because the fragile charms, um, you know, they do their job, but they break upon death. However, the dream bosses do not count as a death. They only, like, you just go into their dead soul's brain, I guess, which doesn't really make sense. But, hey... It's a video game. Yeah! Okay, cool. Oh god! 
that one, I I knew that it exploded. I didn't realize that it was the, the one that exploded. I just saw an enemy and decided to slice at it. Because I'm smart. But yeah, so, uh, even though we should be going into the deep nest this episode, even though we should have been, rather, um, instead, what I'm going to do is make my way into the fungal wastes, which is where the, uh, the cellar of these items are, because, Jesus fuck, does everything here just explode? It just explodes. Or, you know, shoots a fireball. Which, you know, could be worse, depending on who you talk to. I, I, I find explosions worse. I hate them. Um, I hate every enemy that explodes in this game. I hope they all burn in the hell they came from. Oh, Jesus. Those are spikes. I'm weirdly good at detecting spikes, but nothing else in this game. Oh, uh, which is funny. Hello. That, that, that didn't kill me. That, that killed me. Okay, that's cool. Oh my god, I'm in the queen station. You know what? How many rancid eggs do I have? Four? Cool. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go up to Dartmouth. I'm gonna get my boy. And then I'll just enter the enter the area through there because it's quicker to actually go through the, the Forgotten Crossroads if I remember correctly. Let me actually check. It is quicker to just go through the, the Forgotten Crossroads than to... Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Cool. Go faster! But yeah, if I get, if I get those, uh, not only will we be able to get that final notch from the bug lady and therefore never have to visit her ever again, but it also means we have some extra notches that we can use if we decide to take on these dream bosses, which I'm kind of thinking of doing before we... Because, like, it's there's important stuff before the final boss that we have to do. For, like, story purposes. Um, that I would really like to do. So, especially because it kind of, um... Well, not even kind of. It, like, directly correlates to, um... 100% of the game. And, you know, that's kind of something I want to try and get as close to as possible. Uh, then we just drop down. Yep. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm not going to be able to get everything in this game. Like, there's a lot of stuff I do want to try and get, but I just don't think I'll literally be able to. Like, it just will not be possible. Um, but hey. At least I'm making a try. Because those are words. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on, dude. Okay, well now I have to kill this thing. Because I've already done damage to it. Actually, you know what? We're here. Oh god, that explodes too. Jesus Christ, thank god I noticed that before it, it, it exploded on me. But, um, hey, you know what? We saved a grub or two on our way. Give me money, you slut. Okay, so I've only saved one on my way, never mind. But hey, it's still money. I'll take it. It's nice to have. Nice! Okay, thank god for that. And then, through here, is down here, which are spikes, so let's do that. Yep. And then, there's an explodey boy down here. I'm just gonna explode from afar this time. Because I'm not an idiot! Uh, then I'm gonna... Hopefully, this, this part isn't blocked. Oh, I'm not in the right place yet. Okay. Yeah, I have to be on the other side of this. There we go. There we go. Did I do that side? Yes, I did. I don't remember what's there, though. But hey. Now we should be in the fungal wastes. Yep. And there's an... There's a thing this side somewhere, not there. Down here somewhere. Should be through here. Should be a bench and a shop. Yep. So, dude. I'm gonna buy 
all of your things. So Fragile Heart, which gives us two extra hearts. Fragile Greed, which um, gets us 20% extra... Yes, 20% more uh, Geo from enemies. And that. Which, uh, saying that Geo one, you should probably guess, hey, uh, I'm going to put that there. For oh, I'm going to put it on. Oh, but it costs two. Good to know. Um... Hmm. You know, I'm, I'm gonna keep... No. I feel like they're better as battle ones. I'm gonna keep them off. Instead, I'm gonna put on Fragile Greed. Put on these two. Put on Sprint Master. Hmm. Is there any other one that's good for just exploring? Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. You know what? I'm an idiot. Oh, and I've already sat down. I forgot. Um, if you talk to him, when um, if you talk to him while you're using the defender's crest, he actually gives you a discount. I should have said that. Um, I forgot. But hey, that's what happens sometimes. Um, but just remember, these things break. So if you die, like even if you don't have them equipped, if you die, they break. You have to return to get them fixed. Uh, I feel like that's an important thing to make note of. I'm going to actually put on the long nail. Um, I know that this means that we don't have the grub song or anything on anymore. So healing will be at regular speed. But, um, you know, I think we'll be fine. Look, see that thing already gave me a whole 8 geo. <laughs> Which means it usually gives me, what, six? I don't know, four maybe? But then if it was four, it'd be, it'd be one. So he'd give me five Geo. But hey, you know, the point is, it gives you 20% more Geo. So it should help me with uh, grinding up some money for both an upgrade and for the, um, the extra notch. So that we kind of have... I don't think it's all of the notches. Because I know you get one... In the Coliseum of Fools, if you do that. Which, you know, is kind of... Which is kind of what I'm considering doing. But hey, don't tell the world. Um... I mean, hold on. See, the thing is that there's actually, there's actually like, a fight. Like, a, a, a boss fight that you can... That you literally create from doing that. So, you kind of have to. Hello. Can I not talk to them? Okay, in which case... Another weak one. I'd suggest it try its nail within the Colosseum, though it would no doubt be squashed in an instant. And what do you say? Oh, same thing. Okay, cool. Oh, because they're whispering to each other. Ah. So instead of us hearing their thoughts, we're also hearing their, hearing what they're saying. That's actually pretty nice. I like that. Oh, ho, ho. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa. Ah, whoa, hey, dude, come on. You can't, you can't hit me while I'm doing my whoa, hey, woes. Nobody does that. That's rude. Okay. Now, what is the time of this episode? 13 minutes. Okay. Um, I... This is kind of a... Like, an empty episode, and I'm sorry for that. But... I'm gonna grind money right now. So, if you don't want to watch the rest of this episode, I understand. Um, because... The rest of this will just be money grinding. Um, which means I'm gonna have to talk about something that's not the game. Well, I mean, maybe some things the game, but not a lot of it being the game, you know? Because, like, in fact, actually, yeah, um, I know what I want to talk about. And it's not necessarily to do with the game, but I know, well, no, it's not to do with the game at all. But I know what I want to talk about, because I was bringing it up, I think it was last episode, or this one. I don't know, my brain's doing it dumb. But, um, I was talking about Pokemon. I it was last episode. I was talking about Pokemon last episode. Um, for those of you who don't know, Pokemon is like my life. Um, <laughs> it has been a part of my childhood, a part of my, um, very, a uh, very new adult life as well, considering that, you know, I've, I only turned 18 what? Um, I turned 18 in October, so it's been, it's March now, November, December, January, February, eh, like five, six months, you know. 
I'm not like a completely new adult, but you know, it's still my first year of being a technical adult. Um, and I really like Pokemon. I guess this is kind of like a reveal, but um, something that I have been considering um, for a while is to do um, like every Pokemon game I can, uh, which should be um, all of them up to Gen 5. And then depending on how the 3DS um, emulator works, because I don't have a 3DS capture card, and let's be honest for a second, who does? <laughs> um, it, ah, fuck. Um, I should... Okay, so here's the thing, right? If the 3DS emulator works, works well, for one thing, um, then I find a Pokemon emulator that works well, for one thing. And then I can record it well, for one thing. Um, then maybe I'll do Gen 6 and Gen 7, but I know for a fact that I can get up to Black White 2 and be fine. Um, so like, basically the DS games. But you know, um, like I really like Pokemon. It's, it's a fun, it's a fun series. Um, I have a whole lot of favorites. Um, I could probably name every single Pokemon if I had the time. Uh, but I'm not gonna put anyone through that because, listen... Nobody needs to know every single Pokemon name. I only do because I've spent literally my whole life on Pokemon. Pokemon is two years older than me. And that's 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 considering the Japanese. In the UK, we, like, me and Pokemon are, are the same age in the UK. Like, Pokemon's literally a month or oh, ow. At least the video game. Sorry, I, I hurt myself for a second. I don't know how. But the video game's literally a year, um, a month older than me. Sorry. So, um, oh, fuck, it explodes, that's right. Um, so, it just leads to, like, hey, you know. Ah, okay, cool, it was bound to explode. Um, it just leads me to going, hey, you know what, I like Pokemon. And it's a game that I'll actually know what I'm doing with. But then, see, here's the thing. I actually kind of like not knowing what I'm doing. Um, it's, it's weird, but... I, I like, like, I personally, right, when I'm watching a, a, a Let's Play, or an LP, or a playthrough, or whatever, like, yeah, having someone who knows their shit is always fun, but watching someone who's, like, who's not experienced in it at all becomes so interesting to me, because it's like you're learning that person's interests, well, you're, you're seeing whether this person becomes interested, um, in it or not, like, you, you come to see... Oh, how did they play it? Like, as someone who has never, well, not maybe not never played a game in the series before, but like, someone who definitely isn't as versed as others in the game. Like, what do they do? What what do they choose? What like what do they choose to do? And I feel like with Pokemon, um, like most people have played a Pokemon game. Not everyone, mind you, but most people have played a Pokemon game. So I was thinking, oh hey, well, what can I do? Um, and I know for a fact that my favorite gen, um, which I'm not going to mention because I feel like it'll be a little bit more interesting when I do so. Um, but my favorite gen of Pokemon, when I play through that, I'm, or my, I guess technically my favorite Pokemon game, I'm going to, um, I'm going to just play it regularly. I say regularly, but like, I'm going to be basically catching, um, all of my favorites that I can that are in that game and trying to incorporate them in a team. Which is going to be difficult because I've written down all those Pokemon already. Um, and Jesus Christ, there's a whole lot of them. And I don't know how I'm going to keep rotating through them. Um, especially because I'm definitely keeping my starter on my team like at all times. So it becomes a little bit difficult. But I know for the other ones... Um, I know I want to do a, when I play through Fire Red, I want to do a catch em all run. Like, Gen 1 is a catch em all one. Ugh, catch em all run. Words are difficult, sorry about that. Um, Gen 2, and I guess Gen 5, because uh, everyone's heard of Drayano, well, every Pokemon fan has probably heard of a Drayano hack. Um, because they're hot as hell. And knowing that they're hard as hell makes me go, hmm, you know, I've never played one the whole way through. I want to do that on the channel. But I don't know whether doing that would be the right, like, 
I don't know how to do it though, because um, like I know at least I know most of the series is that I do on Pokemon. Like Fire Red isn't going to be, but I feel like um, like Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or Emerald as well. No, uh, maybe I don't know what to do with Emerald yet. Um, it's probably gonna be a Nuzlocke. Um, and I pro and I'm most likely going to play like okay, Fire Red. Oh, that's a breakable wall. Fire Red is going to be the base game. Um, oh, there's a crab in here. Hello. Uh, hold on. Cool. You're safe. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I know that if I play through uh, Fire Red, it's gonna be the base game, like regular game. Um, I was considering doing Fire Red Omega, but I think doing a catch em all run will be a little bit more interesting. Because I get to go, hey, you know, pardon me, maybe you've never seen what this Pokemon does in this generation. Or, oh, hey, maybe you've not seen what, um, like what moves it learns. Because maybe they've changed um, in between generations, which, hey, they tend to. Um, but I'm also mean, hey, maybe this Pokemon learned a move now that I can't learn anymore. Um, which has been the case a few times, but not like many. Um, but, you know, I just like Pokemon. I kind of just want to share that. But it's not going to be the next thing I play. Um, it might be another playthrough or two before we do Pokemon. Um, well, actually, it, it will definitely be two playthroughs. Technically, uh, okay, okay, okay. I know what game, what games, note games, I'm going to be playing after Hollow Knight. Um, I'm not going to say what yet, because I feel like, you know, I'm already saying, hey, I'm going to be doing Pokemon at some point. Um... But I know what two games I'm playing um, after this. And I know that there's going to be like at least two or three that I play. Um, maybe not necessarily in October, but will be released during October because it's Halloween and I've got a few like spooky-ish games to play through to, to do that for Halloween. Um, or like, you know, at least has uh, spooky undertones. But Pokemon is like, I, I kind of want to put it on hold just because I know so much about the series that I want to do a little bit more of stuff I don't know first <laughs> or like stuff that I'm really interested in. Like, um, uh, I'll give a hint as to what one of the next games I'm going to be playing is. Um, it is going to be something that I've tried playing on this channel before. One of them is going to be something I've tried playing on this channel before. That's all I'm going to say. Um, if any of you have followed me that long, which I'll be honest, none of you have. <laughs> um, you'll probably know what it is. But also, if you just like check the playlists, you'll probably go, ah, this one is, this one's the odd one out. So it will be this one. Um, oh, wow. There was a whole lot of enemies there, huh? Um, but... Yeah. I don't know what else to say. Um, I know I'm going to be doing Pokemon eventually. I know what two games I'm going to be playing next after Hollow Knight. Um, I'm also not actually going to take... I don't think I'm going to take a break um, in between them. Oh, actually. Ooh. Yeah. I think it will be two playthroughs. Um, and when I say that, I mean I'm going to count the two games that I'm playing like side by side as one. And then the next game that I'm thinking of afterwards. Because, um, ooh, actually I should play something alongside Pokemon. Like, I think there should always be something alongside Pokemon because I know Pokemon so well. Um, I think, because I know, like, I know what game I want to play next. Well, I know what game I'm thinking of that I want to play next. Um, and, like, uh, I don't know how to say it, because I don't really want to give out too much. Um, but one of the things I will say is that um, I bought Finding Paradise recently. I have not played it yet, because I played a bird story, and I played to the moon, blind when I played them. And they were some fun, like, okay, I say fun, but more like, I, I loved the story of those games. So I'm just going to keep it to that. Like, I want to learn what happens in the game. Oh, wow, I've been going on for a while. Um, I want to learn what happens in that game on the channel, like, blind. So I know that when I do Finding Paradise, which I will probably do before Pokemon, um, 
I will, you know, be learning. Uh, no, I will be playing that eventually. Uh, and it will be blind. Like, I will not look anything up. I was so close to watching the, um, to watching Cry Cryotic's playthrough. I think that's how you pronounce the username, Cryotic. Um, I was so close to watching his playthrough, but I went, no, I cannot watch it. I need to play through it myself because I know I will be in a wreck by the end of the game. And that will make me so happy. <laughs> um, but hey, that's the end of this episode. Um, I know we're not quite at 2,000 gold yet. I'll just do the rest of it off off screen because I don't want to put you through like a whole 50 minutes of fucking money grinding. But hey, thank you so very much for watching. If you liked this episode, thank you very much. Hopefully there are other things on the channel you can enjoy. I hope you all have a very nice day, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.